Welcome to this LibreOffice Calc lesson on using the Auto Filter and Standard Filter. The Auto Filter can quickly sort and display only the records you need to see. To use it, click somewhere in the table, then activate the filter by pressing the Auto Filter button on the toolbar. Or, in the Data menu, choose Filter, then Auto Filter, or by using the shortcut. Hold down ALT and press D F F. In this table I want to view only the records for the customer C C L. I'll use the shortcut ALT D F F. Now at the top of the table a drop down appears for each field. Click the customer drop down. Click the box next to where it says ALL to uncheck it. Click the box next to CCL to display only that customer. Then click OK. Only the records for CCL are displayed now. To indicate that the field is filtered, the arrow on the customer drop-down has turned blue and there's a small square box next to it. Now I'd like the amounts in the sales column in descending order, so I can see the highest to lowest sales for CCL. In the Sales column drop-down, choose Sort Descending. As you can see, you can easily filter and sort with the Auto Filter. To reset the Auto Filter, open the Data menu, choose Filter, then Reset Filter. Or a quicker way with the shortcut keys, hold down ALT, press D, F, R. To turn off the auto filter, click the auto filter button on the toolbar, or go to the data menu and choose filter, then click auto filter. Or the best way, with the shortcut, hold down ALT, press D, F, F. And now the drop-downs are gone. The standard filter is a good way to go if you have more specific criteria to filter. You can also place the results in another area of the worksheet so you don't mess up your original table. In this example, I want the records for the West region between 112 and 114. You could get to the standard filter by clicking any cell in the table, then go to the data menu, choose filter, then standard filter, or use the shortcut. Hold down alt and press DFS. In the standard filter dialog, on the first row under field name, choose region. Condition should be equals. For value, choose West. On the second row, choose the operator AND. For field name, choose Date. Change the condition to More Than or Equal To. Then the value should be 2015-112. Next row, for the operator, choose AND. Field name is region, condition is equals, and value is west. Next row, operator and, field name, date, condition less than or equal to, and the value is 2015-114. So it's like I'm saying in robotic English, give me region equals west and date more than or equal to 112 and region equals west and date less than or equal to 114. While I'm still in the dialog, to place the results in another area on the page, Click where it says Options, then click where it says Copy Results To. Now click a cell on the sheet where you want the results to appear. I'll click F4. Then click OK. This is a good way to go because it leaves the original table unchanged 
and ready for me to show you one more example. This time I want the records for customer CCL or RSC on 114 and I'm going to place them on another sheet. First, I'll create a new sheet by clicking the plus sign in the lower left corner of Calc. I'll double click on the tab and name it Results. Click OK. Now click the tab of the sheet I was on before and back to the table. Click a cell in the table. Hold down Alt and press DFS to bring up the standard filter. First row, field name is customer. Condition equals value CCL. Next row, operator is and. Field name, date. Condition equals and then the value is 2015-114. Next row, operator or, field name, customer, condition equals, and value is RSC. Next row, operator and, field name, date, Condition equals value 2015-114. Now click Options. Click Copy Results to. Then click the tab of the Results sheet I created before. And click Cell A1 on it. Now click OK. And there you are. With the standard filter, you can filter your table and put the results in another sheet. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.